Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Exploring Art. In today's video, you are going to see me doing a bit of art journaling. Now, if you would have watched my Ocean six part mini series where I deconstruct it, talk through my step by step, you will see that I have my art journal at the side of me for any leftover paints. So this video is gonna show you the end result of the finished paints, and then what am I gonna do with it? So add a little bit of bling, a little bit of, uh, I don't know, Sharonessisms? Sharonessisms, does that even work? I'm just gonna show you how I work from paint that's just been put on there in any sort of way, because it was just the leftovers, and how I try and turn it into something that I think is something that spe speaks to me and is a positive message. And I want to encourage you to do that with art journaling. Have a little book, slap on your leftover paints, and then see what gift it gives you, and see how you can push yourself to turn it into something. So it should be a fairly short video other than me just rambling on right now uh, because you are just going to see me blinging it up. But thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. There's my interpreted dance for you. But hope you enjoy. Come back soon. And I hope wherever you are in the world, you are safe and you are creating. So I literally tripped over my mat. Bye bye for now. Much love. <laughs> Hi everybody, it is Sharon from Exploring Art. It's going to be a quick video. People who've watched my Ocean six part mini series would see at the end of each piece, I put my leftover paints on the pages and that's all that's happened here. So if you want to see, I just basically slapped it on, no rhyme or reason, just worked with the feeling. And over the space of six sittings, it built up to this. And so then when I came back, I thought, well, what can I do with this? How can I embellish it? And I wanted to put a little bit of brightness in there. And I put a little bit of gold leaf at the side and I thought that looks quite nice. And I wanted to, not mirror image it, but I wanted the gold to be on two parts and I wanted it to look quite rustic. And I applied it and applied it until I got what I thought a nice balance. So all you see me is I actually put Mod Podge down there let it dry and then scrape it off like you see I'm doing here with a paintbrush because I wanted it not to be smooth. I wanted it to look organic and a bit rusty and not necessarily straight. Maybe there it's been there, you know, a long, long time. <laughs> like the ancient Egyptians. And then what I wanted to do was uh, just bring something in there that I was channeling. Now to save you some time, all the other bubbles that I've done, I've painted on before using acrylic paint, but in pen format. The disc you see I'm using there, it's quite a nice little tool that uh, spins in and spins out so you can get larger bubbles or smaller ones. It's really to draw circles. Um, because I just think it helps me, when I paint bubbles, it brings, um, and evoke, should I say, childhood memories, happiness. Um, I just don't know, magical memories and feelings. And I suppose as I'm uh, within Australia and settling back into Canberra and I'm gaining a bit of confidence and a bit of fun uh, back into my world, um, I think that plays out in this art. And I just wanted to bring it into some of my journaling. So I think that's me floating away or the troubles lifting, floating away or me wanting to have some fun. And you're gonna see at the end of the, this video why. So it's a short part on how I embellish this art journal page. Uh, page, not paint. <laughs> uh, and then uh, the last part is about me vlogging about something that I'm getting up to this way. Anyway. For me, the way I do my bubbles is I want to create different sizes. I also wanted to make sure they were spread out from the bottom as though they're lifting up and, and going to flow. Sorry, a little hiccup then. Flow off the page. And I also wanted to have a balance to try and make them 3D that I created a white outline, which is marker, uh, should I say acrylic pen and then you see me I'll put a little bit of water on a paintbrush and then swipe it with my finger because I don't want it to be a solid color in there but I want there to be some kind of little soft reflection attached to it so it was a blue at the bottom uh, same format when it's on the gold leaf it's a little bit more um, water resistant and so you have to really rub that in when you're doing it on the paper it absorbs it a little bit better even though it was uh, primed with 
uh, Mod Podge and also all those layers of paint that went on there. Once I've done the white circle and I do my highlights and low lights in the bubble and then come around with a very thin line. Again, this is done with blue and I only put it into one area. Uh, just for me, that's my preference. Everybody, There's lots of different styles for bubbles out there. So it's what speaks to you. And I just wanted to make it look a little bit more 3D. When I apply it thinly, I come with a very thin paintbrush with a tiny little dab of water and rub it underneath so that it's not such a solid line and I swipe it around with my fingers so it's smudged. Now it does remove a lot of it but it helps with a little bit of shadow effect where the bubbles are floated past and then once I've swiped it with my finger here I'm going with a little bit of water on there once I've swiped it with the finger I'll come and I'll add another highlight of that blue again just in a concentrated little area I then come and embellish with a few little lines and again it's a preference you can do them how you want but for me I just like them quite clean and angelic uh, and that helps with the illusion that there is reflections coming on there from the other bubbles around and it's quite a nice way of making some of the pieces in your piece pop. It's also good because it adds more depth so I think I created some depth with the paint alone and I lightened the paint with going over it with white. That all dried. I then come and added the gold to give it a nice pop of color and lighten it and add a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of bling. And, uh, and I've been wearing a lot more jewelry of lately, so maybe that's what that's about. My spirit is lifting and maybe that's what the bubble's about. And I've got a sense of fun and adventure and when I say fun and adventure, I mean, I'm very loose with that. <laughs> what I mean is I'm still at home creating art and then at work through the day. Uh, but I am trying to get fit and have a little fun way of doing it. Anyway, I've digressed again. So all you're seeing me, it's all in real time. I'm just going around until I get the right balance. With these acrylic paints, what I have noticed, because the, the blue tended to dry a little bit longer and because I've added water, I had to go over it. I think twice to make sure that the white was a true white but as you know with acrylic paints even if you use white you still have to apply, apply layers if you want it to be more vibrant and um, once I've done the bubble and I'm happy with it I then choose some words that I think are appropriate for me and how I'm feeling or words of encouragement and if you've not done art journaling there's no right or wrong it's your rules but it's just fun just to see what you're feeling and how you can get it out on the page and how it helps quiet the mind and because there's no rules you are removing the stress from yourself and I think I really love the fact that I just slapped my paint on and then I thought right what can I create from this rather than thinking okay how am I going to create an art journal page um, I don't know if that made any sense to you but it made perfect sense to me and so now whenever I'm getting my paints out, my journal is always open and any leftovers or if there's some colours that I think is going to work well, I'm just going to slap it on there and then think, OK, Sharon, what are you inspired to create with this? Um, the words that I put down uh, from a book, you can get some pre-written words. This one isn't sticky at the back, so I did have to glue it down. Um, but I, I am ordering some gold pens, so maybe I can write... A little poem in there or a little sentence uh, but just something that connects with myself and I'm getting a few pages in my art journal book and uh, I think what I'm really enjoying is getting quite thick and chunky already is that I can just look back on it and you, you can buy cards you can buy things that are going to give you that positive mess positive message well, I'm just creating my own version of that, but it's in my own little book. And I think the exciting part about this is maybe it's going to show me something that I want to thought of on my canvas that I could do future pro projects by what I'm experimenting with in my book. There's me just showing you the tools that I used uh, for this piece. Uh, I do come around with a little crayon and I scuff the edges just to try and help frame the work there and sometimes you think do I need it do I not but even when I burping again then I do apologize <laughs> that's really rude of me I've had a cup of tea <laughs> um I do feel that what was I saying before I threw myself with that little uh, little hiccup there <laughs> Oh dear, this is so wrong. 
Um, when you're going around the frame with that black crayon, it really does add a lot of value. When I stick my words down, I come around and I just highlight the bottom page. But again, you see lots of people doing that and I'm exploring and following these amazing people on their channels for inspiration. But it doesn't mean to say you have to follow those rules uh, because it's just their preference. And I think that's what you've got to remember. Your art journaling is your preference. Have something. Throw all those rules out the window. Remove the fear. It doesn't matter if it doesn't make anything absolutely spectacular. But what happens is you're quiet in the mind. It's very good for your wellness. You might find some amazing combinations or inspiration along the way. And you are giving yourself affirmations, positivity, and re-energizing that soul. Now, the light on here, so it looks a bit darker than what it actually is in reality. Uh, it was late at night when I filmed this, so apologies. But you still see, I think, the splendor of what it is that's within this space. So lighten your spirits, float away, add a little bit of bling and color and some positive messages of gratitude. Have a wonderful day. Okay. I am so excited because I am going to embark on something that I used to love doing as a child, stroke, early teenager. Didn't do it again until I was, I think about 28, and I broke my wrist because I went crazy with it and was going backwards thinking I was a teenager and didn't know how to stop. So I went up in the air and put my arm down, broke my wrist. But look at these bad boys roller girl so i've decided <laughs> i'm going to have a go at this is my form of fitness while neil's not here have a little bit of fun get around camera because everybody's using bikes or scooters and i thought jump on the bandwagon so i'm gonna open this while you're here and i'm gonna document me but don't worry i have bought myself wrist braces elbow protectors knee protectors I might get a uh, helmet, maybe not quite at this stage, but let's have a sneaky look at what these look like. If I can get in the box. Here they are. Look at that, difficult. I've got to get them out of the bag. I am so excited and so scared. So look at these. Oh, so retro. My unicorn or rainbow, but look at the wheels. I've got those wheels. The stop is already on. I've just got to try them on. Fasten them up. And learn how to skate again. All right. <laughs> I'm going to put it so you can see me. Here. I just don't want to fit. Roller girl. Here we come. Okay, I've just put the boots on. I've put all the protective gear on, apart from my helmet. I'm gonna go very slowly in the room and try not to hurt myself and maybe consider getting a helmet, but I've just literally stood up and that was funny. So let's have a little go. Well, I can't move very fast on the carpet, so that's funny hilarious i'm just walking on them on the carpet let me try in the slightly faster area on the carpet i'm safe not necessarily around here roller girl sharon <laughs> my goal is to get better at this <laughs> so i go from contrast up on the carpet you can't move to here it's so slippy that the wheels don't grip so i think if i just practice a little bit around here and learn how to use my stopper 
No, the girl Sharon. <laughs> Watch out, Morley. Retro girl coming your way.